Thank you, Greg. Allow me also to start by paying my respects and expressing my admiration for our Ombudsman, Justice Conchita Carpio Morales, and our SEC Chairperson, Teresita Herbosa. You are both beacons of light in our country's efforts to establish a culture of integrity. So thank you very much for all the work you're doing. Allow me to extend first a warm welcome to our visiting friends from around the Asia Pacific region to our country. We certainly hope that you will all have a very productive, insightful, and enjoyable time in our country. This event today focuses on creating ethical cultures with special attention given to the Philippine experience. The Philippines has certainly come a long way from the time when illicit, illicit, illicit transactions and corruption was absolutely prevalent and when our people were disillusioned and disinterested in working towards positive transformation. Significantly, there are initiatives across various sectors of society that seek to complement the present administration's efforts in institutionalizing ethics in our country. With this, allow me to share with you the contribution, one of the contributions of the Philippine business community to this joint project. In 2011, the Makati Business Club, along with the European Chamber of Commerce, started the Integrity Initiative. The Integrity Initiative aims to make doing good, doing good, clean business as the norm, rather than the exception, and as a competitive advantage, rather than as a handicap. The process starts with companies signing what we call an integrity pledge, a moral commitment by the company to adopt a unified code of conduct for business, which was also launched in 2011. This code features principles that signatory companies agree to uphold as they promise to conduct honest and fair business. Of course, signing a pledge is the easiest thing, and it's relatively simple. But following through on it is much more significant and difficult. Thus, after signing the integrity pledge, the company signatories are required to undergo first an integrity self-assessment test, as well as a validation process eventually by third parties to examine the scope and effectiveness of their integrity policies and practices. The online tool that we use will also assist companies to see which focus areas are susceptible to corruption and puts forward a set of control measures to address these vulnerabilities. The next step to this process is the formulation and introduction of learning interventions that will help companies improve their integrity practices. The main goal, the main goal nevertheless, is the establishment of a certification system, something like the ISO wherein companies will be rated based on their level of integrity. We envision to link this certification system to incentives such, as companies, such that companies certified to operate at the highest levels of integrity will be, for example, preferred suppliers of government and fellow businesses, and may even receive other forms of incentives. Presently, there are around 3,500 signatories to the Integrity Pledge, some government agencies, notably the Philippine Department of Public Works and Highways, have required signing the integrity pledge as a requirement before a company bids for government contracts. The Department of Education has also required the signing of the integrity pledge as a condition for being a supplier to the Department of Education. And to locate in the PESA zones, you also have to be a participant in the integrity initiative. And we are expecting more to join our campaign as we approach what we are looking forward to, which is the fifth Integrity Summit, which we will be holding on December 9th, the International Anti-Corruption Day. The Integrity Initiative model is being promoted across Southeast Asia through the development of an ASEAN Integrity Pledge. One of our partner organizations, Indonesia Business Links, is already pilot, pilot testing their own version of the self-assessment tool. The Integrity Initiative also continuously works with our other regional partners towards a corruption-free Southeast Asian region. To conclude, collective action is at the heart of our efforts in the Integrity Initiative. We espouse a message of hope 
that while there may be those who will doubt our resolve and the sustainability of our campaign, there is a large enough mass of ethical companies that are willing, willing to be part of a movement for significant and meaningful change. And given the highly positive response we have received from our friends here and overseas, there is certainly enough reason to hope that an ethical future is indeed within our reach. Thank you very much. Pleasant morning to all.